Greetings once again from Victoria. My name is Garnet Schulhauser, and I'm the author of four books in the spiritual metaphysical genre, Dancing on a Stamp, Dancing Forever with Spirit, Dance of Heavenly Bliss, and Dance of Eternal Rapture. All my books deal with my dialogue and subsequent astral travels with my spirit guide, Albert. For more information about these books, please click on to my website, which is garnetschulhauser.com. Now here, here we are today in, uh, it's a very sunny day in Victoria. It's March 21st, 2020, and we're right in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic shutdown. My wife and I are both sheltering in place, going out only for essential trips like to the grocery store or to the pharmacy. I hope everyone who reads this is actively being vigilant about contact with other people. And if we work together, we can all beat back this virus and get back to more normalcy in our lives. But before we get into the uh, serious topic of today, I think uh, a funny story would help to give us all a laugh because at times like these, we all need a laugh. So it turns out that one day two men staggered into a bar, dragging a third man between them. Third man was obviously even drunker than the two that were carrying him. When they get to the bar, they release the third man and he drops to the floor in a heap. One of the men still standing says to the bartender, two beers, please. And the bartender says, well, what about him? Pointing to the guy on the floor. And the man says, oh no, he can't have any more. He's driving. Anyway, now onto the serious topic for today. And the question is, what is the Mandela effect? Well, based upon the information I've gleaned from my spirit guide Albert and from the higher self in QHHT sessions, the Mandela effect is really a phenomena that points to the existence of parallel universes. The term was coined by a paranormal researcher in 2010 who discovered that a significant number of participants at a conference in South Africa all had the same memory of media reports that disclosed that Nelson Mandela had died in prison in the 1980s, in stark contrast with the fact that Nelson Mandela was released from prison in 1990 and went on to become president of that country and finally died in 2013. A number of explanations have been advanced for this phenomena, but Albert and the higher self have confirmed to me that what really happened was that these people who saw those news reports were really glimpsing temporarily into a parallel universe where the things that they heard on the news reports about NASA and Maldetta were actually true. Albert says that sometimes windows to other dimensions will temporarily open up, allowing people to view events in those other uh, dimensions that have significant differences from what has happened on our own planet Earth in this dimension. Albert says that parallel universes have been around since the beginning of time. When the source first created the universe in what some scientists refer to as the Big Bang, it wanted to experience what it had created in all of its facets without guidance or interference. So the universe began as an explosion of pure energy that eventually congealed into matter in many different patterns and formations. It was created with a built-in randomness factor to ensure that the ongoing permutations would be limitless. The first universe followed its divine destiny and eventually split into two universes, similar to the way a cell in a human body divides into two identical cells through the process known as mitosis. Although the two universes were identical at first, they soon to be began to develop different paths due to the random interaction of their energy and matter. And then at different times in the cosmic cycle, each of these two universes split into two and so on until we now have countless universes 
which were all originally spawned from the source. No two universes are identical, although some have much in common, while others are radically different. The differences arose initially due to the small, random interaction of their flow of energy and the formation of matter, and later subtler differences resulted from the free will actions of the various life forms that populated all the planets. In some universes, Earth does not even exist due to a quirk in the formation of the solar system, while in others it exists but is radically different from the Earth that we know. For example, in one parallel universe, the asteroid that crashed into the Yucatan Peninsula 65 million years ago, killing most of the dinosaurs, missed that Earth by a whisker, and dinosaurs are still the dominant species of that planet. All of these universes exist simultaneously in different dimensions, but most life forms, including humans on Earth, cannot detect them except w when a window to another dimension temporarily opens up to allow people to peer to the events that are happening in that other dimension. And, and this effect is often called the Mandela effect. Albert says there are some advanced races that can travel between dimensions and many uh, advanced races can, can peer through to other dimensions. This is something that may happen to humans at some point in our future. I was fortunate to have traveled with Albert to Earth in a parallel universe on one of my astro adventures with Albert. It was very fascinating. There are a number of significant differences due to a couple of quirks in the history of that other Earth. And all these details are described in my fourth book, Dance of Eternal Rapture. That's all for now, folks. Enjoy your journey and remember to keep on dancing.